Hello everyone, it's Ms. Angela from the Fort Worth Public Library. Welcome back to our Let's Create Pre-K Story Time. If you have your craft sack, go ahead and get it out. We're going to need it at the end of this story time. But if not, no worries. We're going to do our craft with stuff you have at home too. Now, do you remember our hello song? Let's sing it together. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Now let's sing it in Spanish. Remember, hola amigos and es tiempo de decir hola. Hola amigos, hola amigos, Hola, amigos, es tiempo de decir hola. Great! Now let's review our signs before we sign it together. We have hello, friends, make two hooks, and back and forth, time, say hello. Let's go. Hello, friends, hello, friends. Hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Great job, everyone. Now, let's stand up. We're going to get some of our wiggles out. Stretch up high, as high as you can, and wave your arms like you're a tree. Like you're a tree in a fast breeze. Like you're a tree in a slow breeze. Now, stretch down, down to your toes. And stand back up, stretch over to the side, and wiggle your arms over there, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now stretch over to the other side and wiggle your arms over there, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Great job. We're going to be doing a lot of moving in this story time, so right now let's sit down and enjoy our story. Today we are going exploring. There's so much to explore outside. Now there are some things we should do to get ready first. Can you think of any? I've got my handy dandy exploring hat, so I'm going to put that on. Should also put on some sunscreen. And probably some bug spray. And we should bring plenty of water. And our grown up. Let's get exploring. Our first book is the hike and it is written and illustrated by allison farrell what do you see on the cover i see some trees i see some ferns i see the sun and i see some hikers the hike Yoo-hoo! Almost ready? Just one more cut. Just a few more feathers. We are going on a hike. Wren, L, Hattie, and Bean. Can you see Bean? What kind of sound do you think Bean makes? Ruff, ruff, or bow wow. The sign says, Buck Mountain. It's our favorite thing to do. There they go. Hey, wait for me. In the beginning, we run like maniacs. until a ripe patch of thimbleberries slows us down. Mm. L teaches us how to make leaf baskets. There's a close-up of Wren's sketchbook. It says, leaf baskets, L's instructions. Number one, find one big leaf with five tips. Number two, poke stem into opposite leaf tip. Number three, tip by tip, poke leaf tips with stem. Number four, pack with berries. Like this, L. Yep. 
Oh, we may have eaten too many berries. Is that possible? I thought we were saving some for later. Arf, says Bean. The hike gets steep and the trail narrows. Boo! Ah, Hattie, how'd you get up there so fast? We get lost. Which way is north? Pretty sure we were not supposed to cross a river yet. You see the river? Do you see Bean in the river? Looks like Bean is chasing a frog. Did we go left after the berry patch? Right, I think. Ren, what's another word for blue? Azure? Cerulean? Cobalt? Ren's sketchbook. Hattie always finds the route. We're halfway there. In no time, we get back on track. Who made these? I wonder what animal made those prints. A deer walks past. Bean sneezes. Achoo! The deer vanishes so quick, we wonder if it was ever really there. What's up there where the deer was? There's a butterfly. A light rain comes and goes. The birds are happy. We listen to them chirp and chatter in the trees. This is the river we were looking for, right, Hattie? Yup. Wren's sketchbook. Birds we saw at Whitefish River. Anna's hummingbird. Mountain chickadee, mountain bluebird. Hattie gets tired. Elle offers to carry her. We can hear you. I said 30 minutes to the top. Why do you think they can't hear each other? I think it's because of this big, loud waterfall. Soon, Elle is tired too. Look. L has both of them on her shoulders. Giddy up! I can't do this much longer. Rides over, everyone. Brr, it's getting chilly. At the top, Wren takes out her flag. L reads her poem and Hattie releases feathers into the wind. We did it. And there they go down the side of the mountain. And there's a beautiful sunset. Now it is dark and they can see the stars. The end. Great listening, everyone. Now we're going to do some nature-inspired yoga poses. So stand on up for the first one. All right, our first move is to pretend to be a tree. So we're gonna reach our hands together above our head. I know you can't see my hands, but they're up there. And then you're gonna take one foot and lift it up and put it on to your opposite knee. See how long you can balance here. I've been practicing so I can balance a little while. Now let's try with our other foot. So put that one down and raise up your other foot. Good job. Now our next one is to be a frog. So we're going to start from standing and we're just going to bend our knees and squat all the way down. Now put your arms against your knees and press your palms together. Your feet can be flat on the floor or you can be up on your toes. Ribbit!
Our next move is to pretend to be a seed. So we're gonna get down on our knees and then we're gonna just put our heads on the ground. Just be still for a minute. A seed is very still before it becomes a plant. Now we're going to pretend to be a butterfly. So sit down on your bottom and we'll pull our feet in close to us so that the soles of our feet are touching each other like this. And sit up really tall and you can flap your wings like a butterfly. Great job, everyone. Now, when we explore outside, there is so much to see. I've made a pair of binoculars to take exploring with me. Hello! You can make your own with two empty toilet paper tubes and some tape, but for now, you can just use your hands. We're gonna sing a silly I Spy song. It's to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but I've made up my own words here. So I'm gonna tell you the rhyme and then you're gonna have to guess what you think it is. I can spy with my little eye something flying in the sky. What do you think it might be? It's a bird. I look up and I can see something climbing in a tree. What do you see that climbs in a tree? Have you seen a squirrel? I look around and there's many of these on the ground, on the grass, and on the trees. Any guesses? It's ants. I can see buzzing round a flower, something that won't make me cower. What do you think buzzes round a flower? Did you say a bee? It is a bee. Buzz. Cower is something that we do when we're afraid. Unless you are allergic, you don't need to be afraid of bees. They do a lot of good in our world, like pollinate plants and make honey. All right, we have another one here. I can see moving in the grass, something hopping along so fast. Have you ever seen anything hopping in the grass? It's a bunny. All right, last one. I can spy with my little eye something flying in the sky. Wait, we already did this one. Is it a bird this time? Hmm, something else that flies in the sky. This time it's a butterfly. Thanks for playing with me. I hope you're able to get out and explore and spy some things on your own. Our next story is called Summer Days and Nights and it's by Wong Herbert Yi. What do you see on the front? I see a girl, and she has a net and a hat, and there's a butterfly, a bird perched on some cattails. Summer days so warm and bright, paint my room with morning light. She's waking up and giving a big yawn. <sighs> Good morning. As cat naps in a patch of sun, my summer day has just begun. What do you think she's going to do? In the meadow where daisies grow, I creep along on tippy toe. Behind a clump of rocks I stoop, up and over, down, swip, swoop. What's this inside my net? What do you think it might be? You see? What do you think it might be? Is it a butterfly? Hmm, no butterfly just yet. What did she catch? She caught a flower. Summer days can get so hot, makes me steam like a teapot. 
Beneath an oak tree in the shade, I sip an ice-cold lemonade. What else is there to keep me cool? Can you think of something that rhymes with cool, that can help cool you down? Curse splash! I jump into the pool. An insect whizzes past my head. It zips into the flower bed. Buzz, buzz, buzz. What's this I see? What do you think she sees? Just like us. A black and yellow bumblebee. There it is. Summer's Eve before it's dark. Hooray, a picnic in the park. From tree to tree, I run and hide. Wee! I shoot straight down the slide. We spread a blanket on the ground, plates and napkins passed around. Guess who comes to join the fun? It's another insect that we spied. Black ants marching one by one. A golden sun sinks in the sky. Another summer day gone by. Summer nights too hot to sleep. From the windowsill I peep. I hear a noise, a scritch scratch sound. Something's creeping on the ground. Who is there outside my house? Why, it's just a tiny mouse. A shadow drifts across the grass. I duck and wait as it floats past. Who, who, it cries. Who's calling me? Who is it? Oh, look, a barn owl in the tree. Summer nights, moonlit skies, winking, blinking fireflies. I've seen some pretty good fireflies this summer. I hear a splash, see something jump. A voice croaks low, barump, barump. It's a frog. A summer breeze blows through the trees. It bends the branches, rustles leaves. Across the field, on past the gate, my eyelids droop, it's getting late. I crawl in bed, turn off the light, and dream of summer days and nights. The end. Great listening, everyone. This song is The Green Grass Grew All Around, and I'm going to need your help doing the motions. We'll start off slow, so the first time around you can repeat after me, and then we're going to get faster and faster. Try to keep up. Let's get started. Oh, in the woods, now you. Oh, in the woods, there was a tree. Are you making your tree? The prettiest little tree that you ever did see. Now the tree was in a hole and the hole was in the ground. And the green grass grew all around, all around. And the green grass grew all around. All right, now on the tree we have a branch, so that's what's gonna be next. Stick your arm out for a branch. Now on that tree, there was a branch, the prettiest little branch that you ever did see. Now the branch was on the tree, and the tree was in a hole, and the hole was in the ground. And the green grass grew all around, all around. And the green grass grew all around. Now on that branch, there was a nest. Can you make a nest? The prettiest little nest that you ever did see. Now the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the tree, and the tree was in a hole, and the hole was in the ground. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. And what do you think was in that nest? There was an egg. Now in that nest, there was an egg, the prettiest little egg 
that you ever did see. Now the egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Now inside that egg, what is there? Yes, there's a baby bird. It can't fly yet, but we're going to do this for our baby bird. Now in that egg, there was a bird, the prettiest little bird that you ever did see. Now the bird was in the egg and the egg was in the nest and the nest was on the branch and the branch was on the tree and the tree was in a hole and the hole was in the ground and the green grass grew all around, all around and the green grass grew all around. All right, this is our last one. So we're gonna go really, really fast. We're gonna say the bird had a beak, okay? Now on that bird, there was a beak the prettiest little beak that you ever did see. Now the beak was on the bird and the bird was in the egg and the egg was in the nest and the nest was on the branch and the branch was on the tree and the tree was in a hole and the hole was in the ground and the green grass grew all around, all around and the green grass grew all around. Yay, give yourself a round of applause. Great job. Now let's sit down. Thanks for doing all those actions along with me. Our next story is not going to be a book that we read. It's going to be a journey we take together. I'll need your help. I need you to pat your legs and clap your hands in rhythm with me. Kind of like pat a cake if you've ever done that before. And then repeat each line after me. The rhythm will fit. And you're gonna do some motions and it's gonna be fun. You ready? All right. Let's go on a dragon hunt. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Oh no, oh no, I see a field, I see a field. Can't go under it, can't go under it, can't go around it, can't go around it. Let's go through it, let's go through it. Let's go on a dragon hunt. Okay. Let's go. Oh no. I see a tree. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Let's climb it. This is a tall tree. Keep climbing. And then jump. Boom. We made it. Let's go on a dragon hunt. Okay. Let's go. Oh no. I see a swamp. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Let's go through it. Very muddy. Let's go on a dragon hunt. Okay. Let's go. Oh no. I see a lake. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Let's swim it. <gasps> Splash. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Clean off some of that mud. Whew. Let's go on a dragon hunt. Okay. Let's go. Oh no. I see a cave. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Let's go inside. Very dark in here. Do you hear something? It's a dragon! Ah! Run as fast as you can! Run, 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 back through the lake. Back through the swamp. Back up the tree. Back through the 
through the fields. <laughs> Safe at last. Great job. Thanks for going on that adventure with me. Now our activity for today is going to look a little bit like the collage we made all about us, but it's going to be a nature collage. If you have your craft stack, we're going to use the green frame and the last two pieces of contact paper. If not, no worries. You can do it with stuff around your house. I cut a piece out of an old calendar to make my frame, and I used packing tape for the sticky stuff. You're gonna go exploring with your grown-up to a park, around your neighborhood, or just right outside your door, and pick up pieces of plants that you think are interesting or beautiful. I went just right outside my front door to the courtyard of my apartment complex, and I took this mushroom, this plastic mushroom bin, and I found all sorts of stuff. This twig with some dry leaves. I found some very beautiful Japanese maple leaves. Once your masterpiece is complete, try hanging it on the fridge or in a window. Now if you have a craft sack, you'll notice that it's empty now. And it's the perfect opportunity to turn it into a puppet. Hello! I just used a marker for this one, but you could get creative. Use construction paper, recycled paper that you have around the house. Like this one, the marker wouldn't work. It wasn't going to show up. So I cut out pieces from that same piece of calendar paper. Hello! Enjoy making your puppet. Well, it's been great exploring with you. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to sing our goodbye song now. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. And now in Spanish, do you remember? Adios, amigos. Es tiempo de decir adios. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Es tiempo de decir adios. And now our sign. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you get out there and do some exploring of your own. Join us next week. We'll have another craft sack for the month of August. Thanks, everyone. Bye.